welcome back to Softball 360. I'm your host, Natalie Kane, coming to you from Safeco Field in Seattle, Washington, where the Long Haul Bombers are preparing to do another one of their famous battles. Now, last week, it was game on for one of the biggest and best tournaments in the Midwest. It's called the Firemen's. It happens in Bloomington, Minnesota, and it's been a tradition that's been carrying on for more than 50 years. Take a look. At the Firemen's Tournament, things happen in a big way. There's big crowds, big hits, and big plays. Clearly, it's a big time softball happening. The tournament's been a softball tradition for about five decades. They started swinging the bats back in 1958. Tournament director Jeff Barnes has dedicated three decades of his life to staging this summer softball show. It started out so the fire department could win a trophy, and so far they haven't won a trophy. <laughs> so, we started out with 24 teams, and we're now up to 157 teams. One reason for the massive crowds is the atmosphere. The Fireman's Tournament is one part sport, one part family get together, and completely amazing. I'll just come out here and have a great time, play some good softball, great teams. The atmosphere, the softball, this is one of the best tournaments. We've been coming to this probably for uh, 15 years, coming out to watch some good softball, meet old friends. It's like a big reunion for the people that live in the Richfield, Bloomington area. The beer and the really good looking guys. But it's not just fun and games at the Firemen's. The tournament also stands for something serious. You see, it's been staged all these years as a fundraiser to help Minnesota charities, starting with the local fire department. What we do with the, with the proceeds from this tournament is we have 18 different groups from the city of Bloomington, and they're all children's groups, and so we donate all the money to them. This tournament is special to us because uh, Barnsey, who runs it, he's a great guy. He he wants to make it a good tournament to bring money into the community. While the tournament helps raise plenty of money on the field, the cash flow is also created here. Last year, we went through 224 kegs of beer in three days. In the beer tent and on the grill. Plenty of food to tempt the taste buds. Tonight, we ordered 120 gunny sacks of corn, and they'll go through that tonight alone. We got a full restaurant in the tent with hamburgers, hot dogs, bratwurst, then we sell pancakes and sausage in the morning to everybody. Now a really big tournament should have something unique. And of course, big. Right down the road is the world's most massive shopping mall. The Mall of America is where lots of teams go to unwind between games. Heck, shopping's a sport unto itself when you think about it. Back in the field, the games go on around the clock. Plays are made, memories are created, and local charities feel the benefit. The reason I put it on is because the softball players like it. We've got some of the best competition in, in, the, in the country here. To donate the money to the kids is we have 18 different groups from the city of Bloomington, and they're all children's groups, and so we donate all the money to them. It's a recipe that's been working for half a century, and for the next 50 years, it's something to look forward to. It's time for the big show in Seattle as Team DeMarini, Easton, and TPS get ready for a one-of-a-kind home run derby. 